hard to get. Ah! Give me that gig. Got him, son. Look at the details. What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe. Guess what? We're going fish gigging. Fort Pierce, Florida. BA fishing, my son Jake. But first, I wanted to show you all my boat. I never like get into details on my boat, what gear I use. Right now, we're all in quarantine. So now's the time for me to show you all exactly what I use and how. That's right, you're looking at my duck slash gigging boat slash whatever I want it to be boat. It's an Uncle Jay 1856 with a 35 horsepower gator tail on the back. Most importantly though, I wanted to show y'all my underwater lights. These are made by OutriggerOutdoors.com. So like always, any company that I do business with and I use their product, I make them give me a promo code and that promo code is BlueGabe and that's to save you guys money. If you go back to my Mana Shrimp video, all those light bars around that beautiful boat were made by outriggers. I've got a little bracket my buddy James and I built. Got like maybe a hundred bucks in the material. Took a couple hours, it was awesome. They actually have brackets that you can mount on your own boat or you can build them yourself. So I have one on the front and I have it off centered so when I load my boat, you don't hit it with the winch. I have one on my trolling motor that I just installed with some zip ties. So all of them have their own cable and run to their own individual battery. So I did have them on my trolling motor batteries, but that's three lights and my trolling motor running off of them and it would die after like six hours. So now I just bring three batteries. It's a lot of weight, but that boat can handle it. If you're in like a little canoe or a little John boat and you only need one, just bring one battery. But right now let's take it back to the water. We don't have great out of the water footage. We have great in the water footage. So I'm gonna show y'all gigging some of these flounder and I'll be right back. Big flounder. <laughs> Run it, get. Look at that. We're on the board with a flounder. Yes. All right, Jake's next. We don't need to gig him again, but we don't want to lose him either. Here, hold both gaps and pick him up. Nice flounder. Look at that. He ain't the biggest, but he's a keeper, and that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, we're out here in Fort Pierce gigging flounder and sheep's head. I've got my nine year old Jake. I've got Bree Andersey, BA fishing. And we got one nice flounder. We know the lighting's not the best, but y'all, we're working with what we got. We got outrigger lights in the water. They're the best there is, and that's all that matters. Look at that, though. There's Bree's first flounder. And here's Jake. One thing I learned the hard way a while back that a flounder will naturally bite the snot out of you. Look at that. We're gonna have flounder for dinner tomorrow night. Got him. Nice Jake job. got him. Nice job, Jake. Nice. How many does that make for you? That makes my second today. But I need you a lot of flounder. Knuckles. Yeah, that was pretty dope. Now check out these gigs. So that particular gig is made by Outriggers, the same people that make the light, and I love it. Super heavy, super strong. So this is the Gator Pro gig. It's made by Gator Pro Outdoors. 
It's the same stuff we use for all of our alligator hunting. Just two different types of gigs. Both of them are awesome. Both of them work. I can't decide which one I like best. They're both perfect. Let me show you real quick what we gigged though. In total, this is what I'm cooking tonight. I've already scaled him, gutted him, and took his actual gills out. Then we got one nice flounder, one medium flounder, one pretty decent flounder. I think the world's biggest pinfish, pretty big goat, and four sheep's head. But right now, I'm only cooking the one flounder. And I'm gonna take the rest of my parents and clean them because they absolutely love fish. Let's take it to the kitchen. All right, there we go. All I did was scale it, kept it whole, just took the guts out, the gills out, and I'm gonna plop it down there. I've got my Traeger going at 375 degrees, which is a lot hotter than I normally do. And I'm gonna just cut some checkers into this thing. I've always cooked flounder by filleting them. This time, I wanna do something different. So I'm gonna cut him into like a checkerboard I cut the absolute mess out of myself earlier too, by the way. So while I'm doing this, I didn't really get a good chance to explain to y'all how we were gigging. So you have the mangroves. We're, we're on big islands and shoreline that the mangroves, normally there's about a foot of water underneath the bottom of the roots and the sheep's head just stack up underneath there and then the flounder will be out about three or four foot. Last night we got there, dead low tide, we couldn't get up next to there. The wind was coming dead out of the south, but so hard that it was also coming down the canal to the power plant and was creating like we had nowhere to go. We had one spot that was like 70 foot long. Then we tried over next to the boat ramp, saw some lobster and other cool things, but really last night was not the most perfect night, even though we have more fish than we can eat, but we could only gig this one little spot. And leave a comment below if you want me to do more gigging videos and like really get in depth or you just want to see random videos and watch me gig stuff. I won't know unless y'all tell me. I don't know how many of y'all like fish gigging or do anything like that. But as far as the outrigger lights themselves, they have light bars for your truck. They have a light that goes on your bow and arrow that you have a little clicker right on your hand when you draw back. They have the underwater lights. They have above water lights. They literally have everything. What I was using last night is called the Swamp Eye. And I did not just put that there. Just noticed it was there. So everything with the Swamp Eye and the Outrigger lights and the Gator Pro gig and the Outrigger gig will be in the description below. And use promo code BLUEGATE. So see, all I got is cut and checkers. Now one thing I'm super happy about is Can Cooker sent me a new shipment of Creole the garlic butter comes out of almost everything and I absolutely love the Creole. The reason I want to cook this flounder whole is because there's so much head meat. He's got a big cheek just like a grouper or anything else. I'm going to do both sides of him pretty hard. Rub it all into the cracks. Then I just got, I don't know, a couple tablespoons of butter and some garlic that I'm going to put in there. And I want it to cool down and sort of get back firm again so it doesn't just all drain off of it. That's why I'm doing it in here where it's pretty cold. Open up those cracks. Let it all get in there. I'm only going to do it on the top because obviously if I did it on the bottom, ain't going to work very well. And obviously you've already noticed I don't have a cameraman because Bree is working. She's got to do all of her online stuff for her teaching. And Jake's with Grandma. And I'm cooking by myself. I'm going to wait on the grill to heat up and we'll be right back. Holy mackerel. He hasn't came out of his hole or she hasn't came out of her hole in forever. Look at that. She's like, feed me. Look how cool that is though. This is the first time in a month that she's been out. Look at the details. That is so crazy. Sorry if it's shaking a little bit, but 
I'm trying to do this free-handed. Let's see if we can get her to eat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy girl. She don't want to eat. So crazy. And there she goes. She won't eat. What in the world? I just dropped that shrimp down in her hole and she will not eat it. Here she comes. Look, 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 look. Get it, girl, eat it. Yeah, eat it. She's eating finally. Yes. That's the first thing I've got her to eat in a month. She won't eat anything. Now she's finally eating a shrimp. Look at the hermit crab though. He's like all moving up in on her. But look how good that looks. Garlic, butter, creole. The can cooker creole that I've been out of that I just got more of. Let's go put it on the Traeger. It's heated up. Look at that. Mm. And you know this. Now, I'm gonna crank that heat up to about 360 and let it rip, tater chip. All right, y'all wanna see the jack eat? Watch this. Thing's a pig. Sorry about the glare. It's horrible. I know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd you just come from, y'all? That's deer meat's crab. I guess I've adopted him somehow. Grunt just got him. Oh, Frank's like, whoa, whoa. Let me get Frank some food. There you go. He hasn't been eating very much. But he's happy. Let's go check on the fish. Oh, look how good that looks though. Mm. Let's take this thing inside and just see how good it's gonna taste. Yeah, that's perfection. Now, with that being said, I didn't cook any sides, it's just me. I need to edit this video. I've been cutting it short lately. I went turkey hunting, didn't get one. A turkey video has been the hardest video I've ever had to do, and I've killed a lot of turkeys. But for some reason, I can't get it done on film. I'm going tomorrow with Brad, and we're gonna try once more, and if that don't work, I'm done. It's fishing from here on out. Tomorrow I pick my bay boat up, huge surprise coming, you guys. Huge, huge surprise, something I'm so grateful for. And still, April 10th, I've got even a bigger surprise coming. Oh, I gotta say the blessing. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, thank you for this food, thank you for allowing all of us to be safe, and hopefully you watch over each and every one of us through these hard times with this virus. Thank you for dying on the cross, forgive us of our sins, amen. Now, let's just dig in real quick. Look at that, though. Skin still on it. Mmm. You guys, look at that though. So good. Steam still rolling off of it. That Creole seasoning that Can Cooker makes, I'm telling you guys right now. It don't get no better. Let's try the head though. Look at that. Mmm. 
Here it goes. You see, I'm trying to work for y'all. I got two cameras going. It's hard work, but it's worth it. Y'all support me, and I'm trying to support you guys. Mmm. Now, the reason I did it like this is a smaller flounder, this fish is only about 16 inches long. If you flay them, you get such a small flay. Now I can get all of the meat. I can flip it over and get the underneath meat too. Look how it just fell apart. You get the point. I can flip it over and get all of that and I'm not going to waste any of this fish. But right now, I got to end this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I promise you guys, April 10th is going to be a game changer. I've got something coming. You've heard me say it before. And it's going to be huge. Robert's going to be a part of it. Catch em All Fishing is going to be a part of it. BA, Joey Slayum, and all my YouTube friends are going to be a part of this. And it's going to be huge. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everything y'all do for me. But most importantly, thanks for the love and the positive comments. Until next time, like Jake always says, we're getting the heck up out of here. And we're getting out of shape. See y'all.